In the early 80s, Ertl was the main company to manufacture replica toy generalees. It was only a matter of time before other toy companies decided to cash in on the popularity of the TV show. At first glance, you think, hey, that's the General Lee. Well, you couldn't be farther from the truth. Let's take a closer look at these phony General Lee ripoffs. To be fair, this first General Lee isn't exactly a ripoff. It was made by Mego for the three and three quarter inch action figures. But it's far from what the real General Lee looked like. To me this more closely resembles a 73 or a 74 Charger. Just look at the tires on this thing. Look how far they stick out. That's bullshit. This car features an opening roof hatch so you can slide your figures down in there. If they actually would have made it a 69 Charger, you probably could have been able to slide the figures in through the windows. What do we have here? A 1971 Ford Pinto General Lee. They were really grasping at straws when they made this. Zero one on the door, just spelled backwards. A hatchback General Lee. Did you ever think you see such a thing? Gay Toys. Wild Lake, Michigan. The next ripoff appears to be a 1972 Ford Maverick. Just goes to show if you paint it orange and you put a rebel flag on it, anything can be a General Lee. This last ripoff most closely resembles the real General Lee. It's got the vector wheels. It's got an opening hood that reveals a not so detailed engine compartment. The Confederate flag has migrated down to the door. And if you take a look at the back window, that's the window of a Charger 500 or Daytona.
So there you have it. Four General Lee ripoffs.